Hey, my brothers and sisters, this is Pastor Kenny, and I hope and pray that you're having a wonderful and glorious day. As we reflect on 2020, um, one of the things I am beginning to understand even the more is what the prophet Elijah, um, what he experienced, and that was experiencing the still, small voice of God. If you recall correctly, there was uh, this earthquake and there was no sound of God. There was the storm and there was no sound of God's voice. But in the, God said, go out and stand on the cliff's edge and you will hear a still small voice. He heard the voice of God. And so what I am learning in this particular season, especially 2020, and what 2020 has brought to all of us is I'm, I'm beginning to be more attentive to the still small voice of God. This has been a trying year for all of us and one of the things that you have to always ask yourself is what is God trying to say to me as it relates to what I'm experiencing in my life. And as somebody who's trying to discern the voice of God, um, I am left with this uh, uh, if you will, this grappling with what 2020 means to the church. There are some things that I have discovered that God has revealed for the church to embrace during this time of year. We have been customarily used to coming to the building and being in the building and fellowshipping in the building, hugging on each other and celebrating. And that's oftentimes that has been our expression of our commitment to God. But what we have learned over the last nine months is that our commitment to God cannot be a commitment to a building because God has not allowed us, he's used this pandemic to teach us that you can't always get to the building, but you're always able to get to God. The foundation of our relationship should always be built on our access to God and not our access to the building. Now, I say that to say this, because in all of the things we've had to experience in this year, it has brought me to a place where I have to grapple with the question, uh, am I committed to, is, is my relationship with God based upon convenience or is it based upon conviction? Is my relationship with God, how I serve God, how I honor God, uh, is that based upon how convenient I'm feeling or is it based upon a commitment that I have in my heart for God? And that is where we are as a congregation, that in as we close out 2020, we came into 2020 as the year of expectation. That was our decree. We asked ourselves three questions. Number one, what do we expect from God? Number two, what does God expect from us? And the third question, which is the most difficult one to answer, is what do I expect from myself? And that's where, if we pause long enough, that's the one question that we have to grapple with as we close out this year. Now, having said all that, I want for you, as well as for myself, I want for us to wrestle with that question, uh, what do I expect from myself in a more earnest and sincere manner. Because one of the things we have to come to grips with is that as church members, as members of the body of Christ, as members of a local fellowship, there are certain responsibilities that we have as people of faith. There's a wonderful small book entitled, I Am a Church Member, that we're going to be looking at in the beginning of the new year. We're going to be taking some time to go through this book and to uh, and look at really what it, it truly means to be a church member. Because membership is not just having my name on the roll, but membership is, is also being responsible for what my part entails in the life of the church. If I were to ask you this question, if I were to ask you this question, how could you answer the question honestly and authentically? And the question would be, are you a tither? Are you an individual who tithes to God out of your conviction, or are you the individual who tips God 
when it's convenient for you? Those are the kind of questions that we are going to struggle with. Do I attend Bible study because I'm con of my conviction to God, or do I attend Bible study when it's convenient for me? Do, do I share in online worship when it's convenient for me, or do I do it uh, because I have a conviction in my heart about my relationship with Almighty God? And these are the kind of questions that I believe Jesus caused his disciples to wrestle with. When he told them, come follow me and I will make you fishers of men. That in the following of Jesus, in our following of Jesus Christ, we have to pause long enough to deal with the reality of what those questions mean to us as people of faith. So I want to encourage you. I'm going to begin. I want to. I'm going to begin a series of these video uh, blurbs, these video lessons, and we're going to be talking about certain things that are that's supposed to be disciplines in our lives, like prayer, like fasting, like giving. These are the kind of things that are supposed to be staples to who we are as people of faith. And I don't want to scare you. I don't want to alarm you, but I also want you to be properly educated in what it means to be a church member. We all have a responsibility. We all have a role to play in the well-being of the church. Because here is the truth of the matter, that when God galvanized the church, when God formed the church, God did not form the church and with the church's expectation to be supported through ideas like fundraisers and chicken dinners and fish fries or lotteries or pyramid schemes or investments. God put the church together and then God told the people of God, I want you to be responsible for the well-being and the life of the church. That this is each one of our responsibility. Each one of us plays an important role in the well-being of God's church, the church that God has allowed us to be part of. So in this little book, I am a church member, we're going to wrestle with what it means to be a church member. Going into 2021, it's going to be some difficult conversations because in the year 2021, I believe that God wants us to uh, begin this process of restoration. Now, restoration does not always mean what God's going to restore to you, but it also means what are you going to restore to your own life? What are you going to restore to, to, to uh, enhance your commitment and your relationship with Almighty God? So I want you to be tuned out. I want you to be tuned in to those things. We're going to use uh, YouTube as a way to disseminate this information. Uh, so I'm going to, you're going to be getting links periodically uh, they're going to be like little TED Talks, 18 minutes or so with information uh, that's going to be designed to help us grow spiritually in this journey and to help us grapple with the question, uh, am I a church member and what it means to be a church member? As God told the prophet Isaiah, come and let us reason together for this is our charge. This is our task. This is our calling in this year of our lives. So I want you to be encouraged. I want you to be strengthened. And this is not something I could put in a letter because I wanted you to see my face. I wanted you to, to hear my heart. I want you to understand that we're in, a, we're in a place right now where all of this that we've experienced has been designed to bring us to one central place. And that is for each one of us to reassess what our commitment is to our relationship with Almighty God. Am I committed to God or does God, do I come to God when it's convenient to me? Do I, in, do I fulfill my responsibility out of commitment or do I fulfill it out of my convenience? So be encouraged, be strengthened, uh, uh, be enlightened, be empowered, all those wonderful things. But I want you more importantly than anything else, I want you to be focused and I want you to be in tune to what the Spirit of God is trying to say to us as we move forward in this upcoming season. So be be on the lookout uh, uh, for the information coming your way, and uh, we'll be uh, 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 journeying together as we're in this boat trying to get to the other side, believing that God will get us to the other side. So be encouraged. We love you. Be blessed.